this one goes out to all the people with big ass titties. Oh yeah. Sacrificing their bodies and their backs and their lumbar spines. Yeah. With their sacrifice. My sacrifice. Sacrifice. My sacrifice. Yeah. Sacrifice. Walking around, feeling shitty in my own town. Walking around with my big tits, scraping on the ground, on the ground. My sacrifice that I spend every day. Walking around, looking like a human, comma, babe. My sacrifice from my big ass, heavy tits, fucking me up. My sacrifice. Sacrifice, my 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 Same town, scared to take a photo. Yeah, yeah. that bad advice got me walking around looking like Quasimodo. Bad advice, hurting every day, taking these titties all along with this pain. I can feel my spine fucking up. All of this strain from my sacrifice, my sacrifice, sacrifice, my sacrifice from my big ass tits. This sacrifice, this sacrifice, this sacrifice from my big old tits. Sacrifice, sacrifice, my sacrifice from my big old tits. Sacrifice. Down, my big old tits, my big old tits, got me fucking stumped. My big old tits, my big old tits, my big old tits, got me feeling stumped. Next year I'm getting surgery and I'm super pumped. My back will fail. That was a great tweet you had today. Thank you. What was it? What was it again? It, it was, was like, uh, uh, shout out to all the women with big tits for making the sacrifice. Yeah, shout out to all those big, shout out to everybody with big tits just walking around in their towns. Shout out to everybody with big tits fucking with the, with the, with just slumped over feeling like shit with those huge milk fucking blasters. Oh, yeah. Just mm. slumped over. Look at this. Look and, at this. Look and this, fucking sacrifice. Yeah, those big ass tits right there. Look at that. Mm. Look at those big, oh, look at those big. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 uh. Those big old milk blasters you're walking around with, and it hurts your back every day. Like, thank you for your, thank you for your sacrifice. Sacrifice. You know, just to the boob community in general, I think you guys know the little priorities get down with. with uh, we we thank you for everything. Hell yeah, dude. Right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Most of our success is because of t- talking about titties. Wouldn't be here if it wasn't for big fat knockers. <laughs> That's the, that's the drill. Uh, also, wouldn't be here without uh, without um, some live shows. So uh, April 9th, I will be in Buffalo, New York. April 10th, I will be in Cleveland, Ohio, and I will display a graphic now with the rest of my dates for April and May. Come see me uh, on the Ready to Cry Sounds of Love and Stuff Tour um, and come hang out with your boy. Uh, but, yeah, welcome back to the Little Period Podcast. I am your host, Daniel Little Period, and I'm joined by my other co-host, Michael Little Period. Oh. That's good, y'all. And we are brothers, but in the mean titties between titties, we're going to talk about stuff, and yeah. you guys are going to fucking like it. Yep. Uh, first thing on the agenda, you sent me something about Siamese twins. Yeah. The, so we were. I was looking at this today. I told, and I sent it to Danny. I was like, "We got to. We got to cover this scoop." Yeah, dude. We got to scoop this news. I love scooping Siamese. I like scooping some Siamese babes. Yeah. You, you, I like scooping Siamese. Me too. I think I'm scooping Siamese. Also on I'm the... I'm scooping Siamese. I really think, think so. 
on the internet. Wait, do that again. I think I'm scooping Siamese. I think I'm scooping Siamese. I really think so. Also, can we say... I don't, what, Siamese we, we don't know si- yet. We no, don't know Siamese yet. We'll look a, it up. Later. Siamese is a scientific term, I think. Right. We'll look it up later, and then we'll change the way we talk about stuff. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Conjoined we're not sure fetus yet. heads. Yeah, we're not sure yet, so we're not... We're not mean guys. Yeah. In, anyways, there is a uh, a story about these these sisters who are conjoined fucking babes. Hot, go on. And uh, one of the sisters fell in love with a guy, and they got married. And everyone was like, "Oh, this is fucking wild! Like, how does this work? Like, what goes down? Like, you know, the usual like people treat, treating people like fucking carnival fucking attractions." All right, let me yeah, let yeah. me rattle off a couple quick questions to you, right? Because yeah. you read the article, I wanted to get the article through you. Two heads, yes. Yeah, so separate heads. Yeah, okay. separate Can, heads. I got more. Se- one set of tits. I don't know. I, they didn't get into the because articles suck. You know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah. got to keep everything like chill and, and polite. But like, we all want to know. Like, is it four tits? Uh, respectfully, respectfully, it's it, the human anatomy. We talk about anatomy all the time. Like, why should we stop? Based this? on this picture, it looks like f- two tits. On two different chests, so one, one tit, tit each. Okay, that's fire. One tit each. So one tit each. Right. One tit each. One tit each. Is that a mad Italian? One tit each. One tit each. One tit each. One tit each. Come say each. Four eyes, two heads, two noses, two mouths. One tit each. One tit each. And then is it one sphincter and one vanish? I think it's two different. I think it's two different bums. Well, imagine like if we were conjoined twins and I had diarrhea all the time and well, you didn't. Well, this is why the article is very, this is why it was very interesting because after that people were like, well, how do they have sex and mm-hmm. how do they do this? Now, I personally, I know there's people who are like, oh, let them live their lives. Like, shut the fuck up. This is very interesting stuff. Yeah. Who doesn't and, have questions? And before you even go like, before you're even like fucking protecting people you don't fucking know, they answered it. Oh. Or one of the sisters answered Wow. Apparently. I mean, this is the internet. Like, people go to extraordinary lengths to make up fabricated shit. Right. But this looks, I think it's from hers, theirs, I don't know, uh, account. And they were like, well, we saw people asking, so we're just going to go ahead and get it out of the way. Okay. Yeah, this is the things they listed. Go. Uh, This is Brittany and Abby Hensel. And they're verified, so I I don't think they care about us sharing this. Uh, Because everyone is asking, we're going to tell you. Yes, I have sex with my husband. Yes, I go down on him. Oh, my God. Imagine, like, you went to suck a guy's penis, and I just watch you suck f- his penis. And a fucking, and, you're, and imagine being the guy, and you're getting hit from a double-headed dragon. Jesus, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, yes, I go down on him. Yes, my sister Brittany is there. Yes. Well, we know that. See, this no was, this was going to be one of my questions. Yes, my sister and I orgasm as one. That's kind of beautiful. Wait, you orgasm from giving head? No, they orgasm because they have one venouche. Oh. So they share venouche, probs. Oh, and then and then, and then they're combined at the head, so their brains have to be connected. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> nah, nah. Wait, their no, their brains have to be connected. Wait. So when, when one... No. Orgasm happens, it, it's it blasts into the other sides of the brain. Oh, part. you're talking about yeah, because the messages go to both brains. Yeah, so like if you burn your left Siamese hand, your right Siamese hand side is gonna feel it. Dude, that's a phenomenon. Yeah. Like John Travolta. Uh but yes, my sister and I orgasm as one, but when I sleep. Yeah, but when I but when we sleep together, she doesn't join. She puts on podcast she puts on headphones and listens to like a podcast. What? Yeah. But my thing is, is like, okay, that's happening, right? Yeah, yeah. But when I sleep with my husband, she's usually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast. Yeah, probably okay. not fucking murdering both of you. If she could yeah. murder both of them and not die, she Yeah, would. she probably would, 100%. But my thing is, is, so she's laying there, right? Yeah. Let's say the wall is the husband. It's a big husband. The husband yeah. and and the and the sister that okay. are sleeping together. Well, let's put our heads together. Hold She's on. okay. Let's put, all right. I'll put my head to yours. Okay. Right? So now, so now you just go like you just make a whole bunch of movement and noises. Uh, and I'm like, ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, oh my god, this is so weird. Oh my god, we're coming. <laughs> See, that's terrible. <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. And I'm thinking she's there, and they're like, oh, God. And she's like listening to the fucking crime books, and then she's just like 
but she feels it too. So at one point she's listening to it and she's just going, uh, uh, at yeah. the same time out of nowhere. It's like, then he murdered his wife. Uh-huh. So does she just have an orgasm out of nowhere? Yeah. I mean, that's no, kind of fire. Saying she ignores the pleasure. I feel this. How do you this ignore fucking the pleasure? sister, Brittany, is a rider, dude. Yeah, she is. You ha- th- This goes back to the movie with Matt Damon and that guy from Eternal Sunshine. I mean, Eternal Sunshine. Fucking um, Little Miss Sunshine. Listening to a true crime podcast. Dude, what, but here's the other thing. What happens if her sister gets married? Well, I'm still getting over what the fuck just happened between us. Uh, yeah, no. How does she do that? I can't even do that joking. She just gets thrashed, too. I would just let, I would just be like, yeah, but the thing is, she is a different person. So it's like she might not even imagine she hated him. I know. Imagine and the, she's hu- gotta just, how has the husband never once been like, eh? dude, I'm risen both. That's what I'm saying. I'm, ri- I'm, like, I'm, hey. I'm performing risage on both of them. I'm going to try to be like, listen. Hey, Brittany, you want some of this? <laughs> also, imagine talking to her like, your sister's kind of like a bitch. She's yeah, like, right? I'm fucking right here, dude. I Yo, can, can your everything. sister leave us alone for a second? Yeah. She's pissing me off. Can you leave us alone for a second? And she just goes, all right. Oh. <laughs> it's just putting her hands <laughs> over her ears. <laughs> but, I mean, listen, they're in the situation, right? And I, my thing is, is obviously... Because someone was like, someone on Twitter was just like trying to find a way to like, you know, it's like, dude, it's a joke. Like also, not even that, like she, they, she answered it. She's a baller for answering. Yeah. I fucking respect them 20 times more than anybody that, you know, is fucking quote unquote, like normal. There are people who won't even talk about their own sex lives and they don't even have anybody attached to their fucking hip. No, it's the truth. It's the truth. And that was I cool th- as fuck of them to just be like, hey, it goes but, down like this. And also, it, it, you know what it does? In my opinion, it adds more value because, dude, even people that act like they give a shit still look at it and go like, eh, what is that? You know what I mean? People yeah. do that shit. I'm personally, we grew up on fucking Howard Stern. I'm fucking looking at shit like, oh, this is fire. You know what I mean? Like, I want to know the real... I, when you ask questions, I feel like it just humanizes people who may be treated a lot differently. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, it's true. So when someone answers like that, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Fucking double-headed dragon. Give him double-headed dragon fucking suck. So, all right, so here's them talking. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. I, I, I was going to let that sit and not laugh at it. But <laughs> so they sit... Look, and they're fucking awesome. Look. They drive together. Oh, that's these two. I yeah, remember them. them. How do you drive together? Abby is control of the gas and the brakes, and then we both steer, obviously. And then I'm in charge of the clicker for the blinker. So, so th- Abby kind of seems like the more bossy bitch. You think so? Yeah, she because has more of that, she Ab- has more. Abby gets to do the brakes and the gas, and you just and and no, Brittany does, <laughs> yeah. and then Abby. Gets the no Abby control. Oh my god, yeah, we don't even know how to do it. One person, Abby is the boss, bitch. Brittany is, uh, yeah, you know, like kind of yeah. like second, second fetus, second <laughs> fiddle, yeah, playing second fetus. Damn, yeah. So if it's just like, hey, you get the blinker job, like that's boring. I want to drive the car. God, can you imagine being attached to somebody though every day? No, I mean, but obviously, you guys have your, you know what I mean? Like, marriage is what's the closest thing to that. What do we? What, what can we? What can we think? Being of? attached at the hip, <laughs> or being kidnapped and like tied up with someone, maybe yeah, forced. Yeah, to being be forced to be fucking strapped to somebody. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, fucking Texas strap match, brother. Dude, that's that's. It's just weird, like, cause I'm like, like even if you, if I sat here and someone was like, yeah, think about how your brother jays off for like fifty thousand. I'd be like, all right, I'm down, but this is going to suck. So let me ask you a question, right? <laughs> let me ask you a question to follow that up, right? Like, thinking about you just fucking... Yeah, but it's our penis. You're yeah, coming yeah, too, dude. Yeah that's, yeah, that's true, yeah. You get to come with me. That's pretty fucking cool, dude. As brothers, Yo, wait, as guys, Siamese, or guys fucking conjoined, that's got to be weird. Yeah, dude, we could fucking jizz together. That's a lot more cleanup, though. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, but it also, like, it depends because, like, if I'm jerking myself bang off. Yeah. And you come, is that gay? At the same time? No, because we didn't, I didn't, because I we didn't cross J. That's true. Cross J would kind of be fire, though. Right, but it's also, like. Cross J. 
You get caught up in that. Uh, if if it's my hand, you get caught up and come. You get caught up and come. Uh, if it's my hand on our penis, yes. This is like a chicken or the egg question. Because if is my, it? if it's if it's my hand, yeah, on our penis, yeah, and. I guess we have to mutually agree to come together at that point. Like, damn, I'm horny. I'm going to jerk us off. Yeah. I'm horny. I'm jerking us off, dude. Oh, because I'm getting pleasure. Yeah, dude, because you're you're listening to your true crime podcast, but you're still jizzing with me. I was going to say that's proxy jizz, but it's not even proxy jizz because it's my body feeling it also. Fucking cum housings. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Like, <laughs> I have headphones on one day and I'm chilling, and all of a sudden, just like a stain shows up on my pants, and I'm like, Danny! Yeah, and you're like, sorry. Sorry, sorry dude. <laughs> sorry. I, I jade it. I, I thought you were sleeping. No. Did you fall asleep without me? Yeah, no, because I think, I think, I mean, I'm not falling. I would have to take, I would take like three. If you were like, yeah, I'm sorry, I got to get it in tonight. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna say right but now, but it's we. If it's dudes conjoined, way more threesomes are happening. Like 100%. actual threesomes, yeah. Because dude, dude conjoined twins would definitely be down more than girl. Conjoined yeah, dude, twins. like suck her tit. I'll suck this other tit. Yeah, and she's 100, just like a hundred percent. Yeah, you and me would be high fiving during it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's just the truth, though. Guys would be so much more like brothers would be like. I mean, because if if they get separated, yeah, they. I would imagine that's a situation maybe where they, they'll pe- like some one of them will be sacri- back, sacrificed. Yeah. Have you ever seen Mimi's in person? No. What's that? Siamese twins. I'm trying to give it like a uh, cute, cute name. name. So we uh, in trouble. No, I don't think I've ever. No, I don't think I ever have. Or CJ's. I'm trying to think like no, because I feel like I would join. Because to be honest, I would rem- you remember that. You just do. You just do. It's because it's not. It's not a. It's not a commonality. I, I mean, I still feel the same way a little bit when I see a little person every once in a while. I mean, I'm like, I, oh, here's the thing. Hey. Everybody, there was a guy. There's there's a there's a guy that works at American Eagle Outfitter, I think. Okay. In Yonkers. Okay. Tiny Whenever guy? I go there, I see him. Yeah. And um, like I've never asked his name because I feel like that's if I'm like, yeah, what's your name, man? Yeah, you know I, know. What I mean, like that. Like, what am I doing here? Like this guy. I mean, that's, this guy's that's, a that's, human. I mean, that's perfectly normal. Well, this guy. Name. Well, this guy's a fucking human. So at the end of the day, I'm like, okay, like. It's not like no one never notices, and there's nothing wrong with noticing. And that's where I want to say, if you notice, you notice. People who are just like, I didn't even notice, like, shut the fuck up. I know. It's like, I didn't even notice his height. You're, like, you're making, yeah, you're making it weirder. Like, obviously you do, dude, and it's all good, because first off, it's probably got a bigger dick than I do. Yeah, probably. And second, like, it's not like I'm sitting there going like, whoa, can I, like, ask a few questions? You go in there, you're chill. There's nothing wrong with being like, yo, what up? You know, obviously I'm not going to be like, yo, what's up? What, what's up with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I would never say that or do that. But like, no, nah, I mean like, what it to me that's different because I feel like you see more smaller people. Like conjoined twins is a wild thing. You conjoined know? twins. It's a wild thing. I'm trying to see like what, what the little person gene is. So why? It's just a, it's oh, just, it's, it's the, a, it's, it's a different. It's the FG. FR3 gene that causes achondroplasia. It, it sounded like a car. So the FG FR3 gene provides instructions for making a protein that is involved in the development and maintenance of bone and brain tissue. Right. Two specific variants in the FG FR3 gene are responsible for almost all cases cases of dwarfism. So in recessive cases, passing on dwarfism to your child requires teamwork. Yeah, I'm well, sure well, are, because are really going after it as a team. Well, uh, because like I remember that show. Uh, what was the name of the family that was like famous? Oh uh, God, I forgot the name of the show. It, it, I forgot. Snow, it was on like TLC or something. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. No, it was like uh, what the hell was it? What was it? It was um, Little People, Big Dreams, or something. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, and um, it was a. Uh, it was a uh, little people, big world. Their son. That's was, what it was called. Little yeah, people, big world. Yeah, and their son was really tall. Yes, their little son people, was super big tall. world. So I knew it was always little people, on. big something. Yeah, but there's like so many offensive movies. Like there's a movie. You should ask that guy his name though. Next time you're an American Eagle, you should be like, "Hey, buddy." No, because I feel like that's weird. Also, I'm definitely not saying buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, buddy. Is that's kinda, definitely. I didn't mean it that way, buddy. I meant is, it like, "Hey, guy." <laughs> 
saying but I'm just like, yo, bro, what's good? Saying buddy to me, I know that you didn't mean it like that. Yeah. I don't even see it that way. Up, but buddy? to me, saying buddy is like I bend over and pet him on his head or something. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I didn't mean it that way, but I could see it now. But like um there's a movie called like 12, 12 Toes or something. And the and Gary Gary Oldman and a bunch of people play little people in the movie. Like it's Gary Coleman's body. That's pretty sick. And other half of his in a couch. Sweet. But it's I, like I want to see that. Uh, uh, let me just. I want to look up the name of the movie so I'm not fucking it up. It's called Tiptoes. So have you ever heard? Of, you've never heard of this movie? No, they're little people with twelve toes. So it's no, it's called Tiptoes. It was in 2003. <laughs> And it's Carol falls in love with Stephen without knowing much about him. When Carol finds herself pregnant, it forces Stephen to expose a secret. Stephen happens to be the only average sized person in a family of dwarves, oh. including his twin brother Rolf. I thought it was like he was wearing like, like doing a little rascals thing, like yeah. where he was walking on somebody's shoulders yeah. and, and like had yeah. sex with their yeah. got her pregnant, right? But do you hear how fucking 2003 this is? Yeah. He's in, he's in, not only is he embarrassed. Somebody wrote that. It, it, it says he has to admit a secret. Why should that be a secret? I know. That's hey. fucked up. Dude. dude, movies were so fucked back in the day. But like, I'm just thinking about it. It's like, he's, he's like embarrassed to, to say it. And it's just like, what person would be like, oh, I can't fucking, we got a divorce. Like your whole family's dwarves. Honestly, I feel like people would do that. I they would for because sure because they, they would be afraid of the of of the dream of the gene. Exa exactly. They're like, oh, what if you have a baby with me and then he's a little dwarf man? Yeah. And and here's what it comes down to. I know when people say that too, they're like, well, I don't want my kid being made fun of. Like that's the last thing you want. You know? Yeah. Like, nobody wants want, their kids to be a dwarf because everyone knows kids are ruthless. But it's like, how the fuck do kids even know at that age? I think it, yeah, because they're all kind of the same height. Aren't they? Yeah. Or, no, you could still tell because there's features. There are certain features. That's yeah, right. like Kelly, there are certain, like Kelly like Clarkson. In, or in the face or anything like that. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't know, because Kelly Clarkson's got, like, the, her arms. Yeah, she's got, she's got she's little, very short arms. She's got little peep feet. So I thought that she, I thought, I didn't think that she was, but I was like, yeah, she kind of looks like she could be. Yeah, I remember when I first saw her on American Idol, I was like, oh, this is, like, the best singing little person I've ever seen. And then I was like, oh, it's a, that's, like, a regular person. But I um like is that even okay? So I, I, just, I just remember seeing that movie and going, "Yo, this is fucked." Like, dude, they're like all. First off, none. Of, there's only a few small people in the actual movie, and then Gary, a small guy, couch hiding his body. Damn. It, movies did not give a fuck back then. Every. That's, that's obvious. I but love like, that somebody wrote that, pitched it, and then got Gary Allman to be in it. I know. How did fuck? Gary only get it. Also, he probably thought it was like a groundbreaking film. My thing is, is they knew that they were making. What did get on Rotten Tomatoes? They knew that they were making a movie that was gonna have a better meaning at the end, right? But the plot is fucked. So what's the end? <laughs> I'll marry you. I don't care how by, little your family is. By the way, guess who the main? Guess who? Guess who the main? The regular, like the regular tall guy is, or whatever they called it. It's fucking Matthew McConaughey, bro. You, how have we never seen this movie? I have no idea. All right. Steven is Steven. Yeah. When Carol I got finds these him, little ass people in my house, dude, there's like, yeah, I'm just thinking about him walking around like, all right, all right, all right. I know that you're pregnant. You haven't met my family, but so let's look, just say they can look all fit at in this a picture of Gary Oldman. Size Lincoln. Look at this picture of Gary Oldman. It's him in a couch with fake ass legs that literally looks like it's stuffed. <laughs> He's so cute. It's just, he looks adorable, dude. Look at his little fake legs. It's so, it's just so, I couldn't believe I'm watching this, this movie. I'm watching this movie as soon as I go home. Yeah, you got to watch Tiptoes. I kind of wish that the roles were reversed because I would have loved to see a little version of Matthew McConaughey. That would have been way funnier. Oh my God, yeah, because of his accent. Imagine she just walks in and he's, he's like, like, this is just my line. He's like, is your wife hot or not? <laughs> she comes in, he's like, all right, all right, all right. All right. Just shaking his little legs, this his little fake my, legs. This is just the way it goes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This Man, is just the way it goes when you're you live tall, life on your tiptoes. <laughs> Man, you're a tall glass of water, baby. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. believe my brother, you ever get tired of my brother, you come sit right next to me on this couch. I think, it's, I think he goes to visit the dad, <laughs> but then they meet the whole family. And she wears a shirt. In the movie, that's like, I love... Little people? No, it's just like, I love midgets. God. Dude, it's super... It's like... It made my chest hurt. 
Uh, who who's the chick that dated Pete Davidson? I think is that her? Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. Dude, it's like a fucking stacked Patricia Arquette's in it, bro. Damn. Rotten Tomatoes. What did it get? Did we see? Oh yeah, Ron Ron Tom- Ron Tomatoes for tiptoes. Did we talk? I, we never. I never told. On tiptoes. What are the May toes? Good. What is it? I'll start with the audience. It's twenty three percent for the audience. Well, that's because half of the audience probably. Was fucking little people and they were pissed. Yeah, and they were like, that's not real life. It's not a good depiction of us. And then 20% from the critics. So it's uh, not, it's just not, yeah, it's a big bomb. It's a little bomb. If you will. Um, but uh, it is not, it didn't, yeah, it didn't, it did not do very well. But I know people like, have you ever, uh, oh yeah, you've never, so like, because T Pain was on stream once, right? Okay. He has a homie who's a part of his team named Midget Mac. That's Midget Mac's name. Yes. Midget Mac has that name for him. So, and Midget Mac's always just drinking. He's always drinking in the fucking background. He's always like, yo. I've seen him. Yeah. yeah. He like, and T's like, you going to buy the liquor for once? Like always arguing with him and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so feel- they'll go in and they'll say shit. And someone in his channel was like, why are you calling him that? And he's like, he made up the fucking name, bro. That's I what know. he wants to be called. That's what it is. Does Midget he's Mac? The, he, does- and, and he goes, first off, he gets way more bitches than you probably get to the person in the chat. Got him. And cause the person, cause that's my thing. People that say shit a lot of the time, some people may have good intentions, but a lot of other people like you're making it worse by making it weird like that. Agreed. T Pain has him come in and they fight and totally like it's, agree. it's not just fucking with him. Like they chill with this man and go on tour. Like he's part of the team. Yeah, he's part of the crew. And he gets mad puss. And the guy came in there like, oh, why are you playing homie like that? And they're like, bro, this guy, his life is better than yours. Like, don't come in here trying to make us feel <laughs> he named I mean, himself. It, it, it kind of seems like it. Like to me, Anyways, to me. That's just my opinion. To me, and that's just me. If a man wants to be known as Midget Mac, you you call him Midget Mac. Yeah, he doesn't care. That's his name. That's, that's his, his name. That's his party name. He sets, dude, this guy, he's everywhere with him all the time at parties, chilling. And like, because even at first, even I, at first, when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, saw so it. When I first saw it. Not, it. not it, not him. When I first saw their inter, <laughs> when I first saw their interaction. When I first saw it, <laughs> that little <laughs> fucker scared the shit out of me. <laughs> when I first saw their interaction on Twitch, I when he called him that, I was like, oh, shit. But that's his name. I looked. If you go on Instagram, look up Digit Max Instagram. I'm way ahead of you, dude. He's a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fucking. So I know either, but I didn't say anything because I'm not gonna be phony. Like like some people just say shit. And they're like, damn, why are you clowning a little homie like that, bro? And it's like, dude, you have no idea what this person's life is. Also, you're making it weird. You're talking about it like it's an elephant in the room, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? Here's a question. I don't like when people do that shit. There was a guy I saw on Instagram who's a little person, and he had like. Alexander McQueen on. He had like a Montclair jacket. It's like a part of me, which like imagine like you get like kid sizes for clothes and it's cheaper. Yeah. Like that would be pretty sweet. Yeah. You know? I'm just saying, obviously there's some posies and neggies, but like, you know, but one of the posies for me would be like, hey, like I can get Jordan's kid size for like 40 bucks. Yeah. I mean, if that, and if that's how, if that's how that works, if that actually is that how that works, that's yeah, amazing. of course, that's amazing. Yeah, you can't. It's by size, not by age. Yeah. So if a if a grown little man comes in and he's like, "Hey, what's up? I want these J's and a fucking seven Y," you have to give them to him. You also never have to get rid of worrying about changing a size in clothes. <laughs> that is true, but you can get you can get fat. Yeah, you as can a get. Yeah, person, you can right? get. Yeah, that's true. You might have to. That's true. You can. You can probably gain weight. I, I don't know. That's I don't. Adorable. I don't know. Like like T Pain. When when I when I first because I met I don't I don't think Mac knows me, but they were coming up with like that day they were like what else are we gonna call him like you know what I mean like he wants us to call him that's that's what we're gonna call him, but I just I loved his connection with him, because it's just like. Now if now granted if it was every fucking day and it was like an onslaught of, you know making someone feel like fucking shit yeah. I, that's what I've never been. That's where I, that's where I draw the line. When you're making someone feel like fucking right. shit all the fucking time, if you're like, like hey, bro, you little bitch, yeah, motherfuckers call me bald. It's not, you know, what I'm saying like I know I'm different and I know it is different, but like not really. I, I can't go back. Yeah, no, I'm you're fucked. fucked, dude. I had a great April Fool's and I, today, and I'm not fucked. It's not that I'm fucked. I like being yeah, bald. Yeah, defend yourself, dude. I'm I, yeah, I like it. Honestly, some of y'all have fucking terrible hair. Yeah, defend yourself, bro. and I would rather fucking. Be bald and have what if that's hair? That's right. 
right? Yep. Keep you going. F- you follicle having little bitch. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, bitch. You have Energy to worry about. Oh, I gotta use like hybrid conditioner and this shit. Talk to him. I hope you put the fucking worst type of brand in your hair. Fuck yeah. And that shit falls out eventually. Holy shit. And then you fucking look like that fucking uh, witch in that one movie where she looks like she's fucking dying. Damn. She's got warts on her face. Totally for reals. Because you want to put aldrohosiline and kilomatophen in your hair? Give him another one. Yeah, I'll give you another one. Fucking, what do you think? You're a horse? What do you think this is fucking Little Prairie on People the be f- doing that. Little Prairie. People be the, doing that. Little, they be using horse shampoo on them. Yeah, they be doing that. They be doing that. What do you think? You're in a fucking prairie on a farm? <laughs> I do declare. One stroke, two stroke, three stroke head ass? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I hope you have a one stroke, two stroke, three stroke in your heart head ass. God. Oh my god. Stupid god, hair. I do the clip. Fucking hair strands. Guess what hair is? What? Dead cells. Gross. You're supporting dead celeries growing out of your fucking head like that? Yeah, you want dead things on you, idiot. You fucking idiot. You look Idiots. like a dumbass Dumb in idiot. your hair looking in the mirror. Meanwhile, yeah. you still hate yourself. Yep. If I had a follicle for every time you looked in the mirror and you low key hated yourself, I would look like fucking, I would look like fucking uh, 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 Michael Bolton. Is he ugly? No, he just has a lot of hair. Oh, I thought that was Kenny G. No, no, no. No, if I had a follicle for every time you low-key hate your, hated yourself and your hair didn't help you, i look like Fabio. Yeah, I feel like you're talking to me right now. I did look at you, Connor. Yeah, I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, but you're, you don't give a shit. Like, your hair is greased up and fucked. Well, yeah. Well, everybody, I did an April Fool's where people actually thought that I cut all of my hair off. Which you, I'm not, I'm not just saying this. You looked really, you looked good with a bald head. You know what? Thanks. I, Thank you. I know. I, I'm being honest. You looked very handsome. And so many people from my immediate family, you texted me. Jared texted me. Yeah. Mom texted me. Yeah. Mad people texted me being like, why did you fucking do that? Well, because I know you love your hair. Yeah. It's a big thing for me. You're not like super fucking like, oh, I got my hair. But like, you're like, but yeah. you like your hair though. I love my, I you, love my hair. It's a feature of yours that you like. And honestly, you have amazing hair, so I get it. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like, it's not even like... Fuck you though. I, I never... Well, you did, you did say that I hate myself for every follicle on my head. Well, no, not you. Oh. I just meant people that like low-key. Like, oh. Like, you're, you're open right. about hating yourself. Yeah. Nelson, cut that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, give us a good one give right us- there. Um... <laughs> No, I, I do have a spiritual attachment to my hair for some weird reason. It's not like, weird. Um, like, just seeing... All right, so, like, I'm going to read some of the comments, and then we're going to get into the ads. But uh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to read some of the comments. Yeah. That's the picture. I'll put the picture up. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the picture, the picture up. Yeah. 3250. I'll put the picture up. Um, Did you hear that, or was that just me? No, there was a dog. Okay, I thought I was dying. Schizophrenia? Yeah, something. I thought something was going on. A lot of people said, nah, chill. So much p- potential. What a fucking stud. Oh, wow. Actually, looks good. A dead ass, a dead eye thought you was Jared at first. <laughs> this better be a filter. You look like Tom Cruise character in Tropic Thunder. Damn. I gasped so loudly. Uh-oh, here comes Danny Tate. Oh, God. <laughs> Danny Tate. Motherfucker went from Danny to Daniel. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's good. Like, uh, I guess. K, so you're bald. Oh, like a full name? I don't know. I don't get it. So, uh, I think because of our cousin Daniel, because our cousin Daniel. Oh, bald. I get it. Okay. And then, you know, congratulations to our brother. Uh, our brother, he is our brother. Our yeah. cousin Daniel. Daniel. Had a baby. Yes. Caroline. Congratulations. In the Pisces month, baby. Pisces month. Uh, baby's name. I'm not going to reveal it on here. I'll let him do it, I guess. But, um, but yeah, congratulations on your baby. I hope the baby's listening right now so I could be like, your dad is gay and he, and he smells and he's bald. And then, and then you're probably going to be bald when you grow up. Play this in the baby's ear, but not so you guys can hear. And don't ever ask me for money because I'm not going to give it to you. <clears throat> All right, now give the headphones back to your dad. But yeah, like those guys are really great. I love those guys. They're awesome. Um, And then it says, going to go ahead and assume this is an April Fool's, but if it's not, do whatever you can to tape it back onto your head. Jeez. Yeah, you look like Dan Bassmaster. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Whenever we we fucking show our heads, 
even if they're bald or whatever, we always get Ed Bassmaster. I know. Because he's just like a biracial, like ambiguous looking person. Danny shaved his head bald. Kids going through it. Album of the year incoming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Selena took took the took picture. Took the picture. That so, it the looks, thing. so it looks like she almost was with you when she shaved your head. Someone goes album mode, full caps. <laughs> You look like you've got a pocket full of kryptonite and ready to take over Metropolis. <laughs> I love how this person debunks it. 100% cap. He had a hairline, a good one. Even if he shaved off the hairline, would still be there. Damn, that's kind of nice. Yeah. But also a little, a little intense, uh, but very nice to say. Flex Luther. Do you have to use someone's head as a layer yeah so we did it for jared too and i turned jared into like a to like a woman yeah jared's hair was great it was like curly yeah i was like give him like the haircut of like somebody from like uh the the olympic soccer team the girls team yeah he kind of looks like a balding emo person but that kind of looks like him though yeah that, like that's what jared's that's what hair, his hair like actually, would look that's yeah. what he would look like today if he had his hair 100 percent. that's what it would look like yep he looked at that photo and just went damn yeah. i sent it to him yeah oh did he really yeah and he was like <laughs> but yeah bro april fools i still have my hair um, uh it's so funny dude frankie's wife even said i gasped i was like yo is it that is it that bad they're, they're, this is i'm telling you bro bald people someone goes danny looks like paul Heyman. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually got a fire bald people for some reason are just like I don't know. We're allowed to just like get bodied for some reason. But, we're you, like, but you guys like are a people though. Like there, there are like bald communities, brother. Yeah. No. Well, cause a lot of people go bald, but it's just, it's funny to me. It's like bald is like the new, like everyone can shit on a bald person and like the, no one cares. Yeah. You guys don't have like rights. I low key feel like we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, it's funny to me. Like did every feel, time we, every gross? time I feel it's like, when I first started going bald, yeah, did you feel like ugly? Like you wanted to hide it? No, because my hair has always been shaved, so I didn't really care. Go ahead, take it off. So I've never, I've never, I've never given a fuck about being bald. Like, yeah, I've always been like, oh, I'm fucking bald. It is what it is. Would you ever? And I f and I and people always think I because I rocked hats before it before that. Right, right. But everyone's always like, oh damn, my man's trying to justify it. It's all good, bro. Like all. The <laughs> All that shit, which is funny. I do love that. I love when people are like, dude, it's all good, bro. Like, it's shoulder touch. Like, yeah, it's all yeah. Good. But the fact of the matter is, is like, okay, what, okay, what, what is it that fucks you over when you get bald? Do you lose your job opportunities? Nope. Do you lose any chance to get money? Kind of one and the same? Nope. Do you lose the ability to breathe? Nope. Are you like disabled all of a sudden? Nope. Everyone's big concern is how am I going to get pussy? And it's really this simple. Stop being a fucking nerd. Because nerds don't get pussy. Hell yeah. If you're going to be a nerd, be a cool nerd. Because honestly, it's 2024. And honestly, I'm going to retract and say, even nerds are getting pussy. Actually, I know more p nerds that get more pussy than you. And here's the truth. Has it stopped me from getting pussy? Nope. I'm still out there. I honestly like when girls smack my head when I'm fucking them nicely. Smack me on my head. It's like, I don't want you to hit me on the butt cheek because that's kind of weird. I'll slap my own butt cheek. I'm down for that. Slap me on the head. Rub it down. Call me your little fucking cinnamon cue ball bitch. Beat the shit out of my head. Grab it. Uh, pinch it. Make it go like this. When those little lines show up, those little fucking goddamn, and it looks like I have like actual. Hey, people that get cornrows in your hair, I can actually make cornrows with my scalp. So that's kind of cool. But nothing should stop you from thinking, oh, I'm bald now. I'm not going to get ass ever again. That's the main concern. Am I going to get ass? Or is everyone gonna make fun of me? It doesn't matter, because guess what? I'm still getting my dick sucked. Every day. Not every day, every once in a month. But I'm still doing my thing. And I'm out here, and I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop getting head, because I'm giving head.
<laughs> Dude, I would run through a bald wall for you. And even honestly, and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I I, I know some people are probably like, nah. I and I'm not. Bald women are hot as fuck too. Yeah. Sometimes I want to grip on a fucking I, pulling a hair. You know, some gir- some girls are like, oh, I don't really want you messing up my hair like while we're doing this, which is weird. Those girls are weird. I've been with that type. They're very strange. Right. Right. We're having sex. That's gross in itself. Sticking where I pee into where you pee. But girls that are bald also hot. I want to slap your head if you're if you're into that. Don't stop him. He's on but a like, roll. I'm on a. I'm gonna. Yes. I want to slap your head. I want to grab it. I want to feel like I'm making love to my cable guy. Yeah. Or my plumber. But a really hot plumber. And a really hot cable guy. So there's nothing wrong. Shout out to bald women as well. If we put our heads together, maybe some sort of dragon will come out of the skies and fucking scoop us both from my house. And we'll go flying up into the sky and then we could have sex on a dragon. Wouldn't that be sick? Or we could have a, f- a sixum. And we could all tattoo little stars on our head, and when we come together, the dragon will come. Oh, like like dragon dragon ball Z. Z. While well, I'm dragging these balls across your bald ass head, <laughs> you hot bitch. Dragon Who's dragon bald dragon Z. bald Z. Nice. That's a fire porno. Yeah, keep going. I can make pornos if I want. I'm never gonna stop loving me for being a bald bitch. Yeah, sure. When people look at my head, they think of a horseshoe. But honestly, I'm thinking about how. Someone's gonna take off their shoes and fuck me afterwards. That's the only shoes I'm thinking about. The shoes that are off of your mom's feet, your sister's feet, your grandmother's feet. And if your niece is old enough and you're older and she's like 26, your niece's feet. I'm going for everybody. And I'm capable of it. Because people know me. Because this may be a bald head, but it's kind of a popular bald head. And it's gotten me a lot of places. Those places being vaginas. So I'll be bald. And I'm ready for the call. Because guess what? I'm still having sex. And it makes you mad. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I really had to let that out. Thank you. No, that's fine. That was amazing. You s- I felt really good. There was, there was a couple of... Did you say you wanted the sex with your plumber? Yeah, yeah, I think I did. Okay. A I, plumber, not my plumber. Oh, okay. I did say I my like, plumber. Yeah. I did say I don't yeah. even have a plumber. And you said you, you want to have sex with your cable guy. You didn't say cable girl. Yeah, and cable guys do have hair. Plumber makes more sense. Yeah. Plumbers have hair too, but I feel like more plumbers are bald. But but you said you wanted to have it feel like you were having sex with two men that do utilities for oh, you. Oh, I don't remember that part. I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny though, like... Oh, you know what's funny? The ads. The, the ads are the best. Let's get into the ads, and then, because I, I, you're you're ranting right now, and I want to save it. I want to save it. Um, yeah, so this episode is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. Listen, this is what you need to know. Every time in every life, there is going to be a moment where you feel like you can get out there and get some help. Yes. All right? Yes. Why have it not be better help? Okay. As somebody who has used better help for four years now, I can vouch saying that it's been one of the, if not the best decision I've ever made in terms of getting my mental health where it needs to be. And here are some of the reasons why these things have helped me so much. Uh, and by these things, I mean better help. And here are some of the things. You know, and especially for those who are thinking about starting therapy, this is why you should really give it a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime at no additional charge. You know, that's something that, you know, why not give it a shot? Why not give it a shot? Some people that I even see on the road, they come out to me and they're like, oh, I use better help from listening to the show and it's helped me so much. Shout out to all the people that have come out to me and talked to me about their mental health struggles uh, through their actual progress that they've made with better help. This is really helping people and it's really helped me. Um, and yeah, listen, you're like, oh man, 
What can you do to help me, Danny? This is what I can do to help you, okay? Visit BetterHelp.com slash LOPS today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash LOPS, L-O-P-S, to get 10% off your first month, okay? That's 10% off your first month when you go to BetterHelp.com slash LOPS. Protect yourself. Use better helps. Sounds fire. Right? Come on, dude. Sounds fire. But yeah, man, I I, I feel... You well, know what? No, no, no. Go ahead. Well, no, you say, you say it. Go ahead. Would you ever do like what dad does? What does dad do? Like short on the sides and like shave the, the circle? Yeah, but you got to be a certain age for that. You got to be like Louis C.K. age. Yeah. Yeah. Because like uh, yeah. 37, 37 is like... You, you can, can still do be- it. Actually, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm close. So maybe at 40, I'll start just going straight horseshoe outside. I feel like that would make you look like a really cool artist. Yeah, and just wear like, and wear like, uh, like Japanese street clothing. Yeah. Like the big pants. Yeah, and, and like, a, like a fucking sequenced fucking gi. And have the glasses. I keep the glasses though, right? Yeah, of course. And okay. then, but even maybe you get like wacky glasses that like cross over. Dude, you're amping me up. Put that music back. Yeah, you're amping me. You're amping me up right now. I got, you know what? Danny's right. Yeah, dude. Well, I, I just don't know why you're so. You know, I feel like you, no, I'm not. I'm ready like, to. I'm ready to change. I feel like you wear too many hats. I feel I'm like ready you, to change. I feel like you don't need to wear hats. Like you could just. You yeah, can just but be I bald all the time. Yeah, you're right. I'm ready to change. I'm ready to change. I'm gonna horse you more. Yeah. I'm gonna like horse you more, even though a, I really love you, hats dude. and I spent a lot of money on those hats. I'm gonna horse you more. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna honestly I'm gonna start having sex with I'm going back to the sex thing. I'm gonna have more sex with bald people. Because when I have sex with a bald person, I wanna show they more bald people need love. Yeah. And when I'm giving you back shots, I wanna rub your head and see the future. And it reads, what's the future? More back shots. Yeah. When I go down to grab your head and I'm like can't really get down there, I wanna feel like I'm reaching for the last fucking pool ball in the in the pocket. Grab out that fucking goddamn fucking eight ball. No, oh, no, I'm raising my hand to ask a question. You said, because you said people, just before you keep going, are, are these, like, just women? It doesn't matter. Okay. Anybody that's bald oh. can get it. Not only am I going to be more bald, I'm going to be more gay. Nice. So you were and I talking wanna, about having sex with the cable And guy. I want to think, yeah, so it was a real cable guy. Yeah, yeah. And a real plumber. And you know what? A real accountant, too. Because I know mad accountants got to be bald. That's too many numbers to not lose your hair over. I just want to stand up for all the bald out there and say, fly free. It's our time. It's mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> yeah, you should do like a... Like no, nah, I'm going to keep wearing hats. I love hats. You should do a course for like bald acceptance. Like bald <laughs> acceptance. And like give people... Spe- you could be like the Gary V of bald people. Isn't he kind of sort of balding a little bit? Yeah, kind of. His, was, hair, his hair's kind of weird. His hair is kind of weird. But yeah, you're right. I could be. I could be like the... the Get up there and what is, what is he? Is he a public speaker? I don't even know what he is. He's a rich public speaker. That's it. Yeah. He's like a business owner, investor guy. I could be Gary V. Doesn't he follow you on Instagram? I could be Gary B for bald. Uh, no, he wanted to sign us to a contract a long time ago for Viners. I think he, I think he still follows you. on Check. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. You know how many fucking people would hope to God that Gary, Gary V, v follows, follows them? them? Yeah, but you know, he probably follows a lot of people that he's known. He follows 7,000. He follows you. Yeah, it's got to be from Vine time. That's why. Yeah, he's cool. I, 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 when I met Gary, he was cool, but he had someone write up a contract that was not good, and even even he was like, "I didn't know it was this." Come on, Gary. It was a long time. Come ago. on the show and talk about it. It was a long time ago. I, it, he, it's not like he didn't. Other people signed up, but Ben's dad. Yes, yes, uh, Mr. Gold was, was my who's had cele- who's been a celebrity lawyer before. Who was on the road with me in Chicago? We'll talk about it soon. Hell yeah! Shout to Young BGs. Um. His dad was like, "Don't sign this." Yeah, he's an entertainment lawyer, and I just did what he said. I didn't, I didn't know what the fuck anyone said, but I, even Gary was like, "I apologize because this is not." I didn't think it was going to be like this, and then he fixed it up because he was more involved. But he he let it 
he let someone else write up the contract. Come on, Gary, it. make it right now and give us a give us a new contract now, Gary V. No, I don't want it. But Gary's. I, but I do like I do like Gary though. I, I like Gary. I like money, Gary. Give us a deal. Yeah, just give I us know, money, yeah, Gary. Yeah, give it. Just give us money. Yeah, let us get out of this goddamn apartment. Yeah, dude. Let because we if we, we, we don't both got matching high chairs. We did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Gary? Gary, you could really bail us out, dude. Yeah, you could really like do us a solid. And, what's like, it? Give what's us his, money. What's his? La- is it Vaynerchuk? Vaynerchuk, yeah. Nice, Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah, I think yeah. he started in the wine business or something. But yeah, um, but speaking of Ben Gold, uh, Ben Gold uh, opened for me. He did his first twenty minute set. Yeah, man. This I'm very proud. I'm very proud of you. By the way, it's been Thanks, well, brother. both of you guys that Ben's doing it too, and that you have yeah, nice, your opener. Yeah, he's my yeah he's my opening act. So I got to ask you, what's it like being on, like, what's it like now for you being on stage? Is there like a certain feeling that you got to deal with? Is it, is it just, is it now, is it just second nature? Is it like, are you still kind of nervous sometimes? So I will say, I will answer all those questions. First thing I'll start at the end. The first, the last question was, am I still nervous? Always nervous. Yeah. Always nervous when I'm on stage because it's like, I don't have like, someone to fall back on like that's on stage with me yeah it's so you you know what i mean like it'd be different if like me and you did a show and it's like oh like mike could carry this part or Or suck or whatever vice versa it happens yeah you know yeah um so the idea of you're the only person there your name's on the marquee people are driving to see you you know the thing i feel like i only owe the audience is a good performance. So right. I'm not going to, if I'm having a bad day and it's in person. Yeah. If I'm having a bad day, I'm not going to let that affect what I do on stage. And then I'll deal with it. Like when I get off, right. get off stage. Right. You know? So I, many people came up to me like that went to my first Chicago show and came to this one. They were like, bro, you are so much fucking better and like cleaner and just, crisper i was in a pocket that night my goal is to make like an hour set feel like it's 20 minutes right so that's what i i felt during that show like just bro over the course of just two years it's just so much cleaner and bang 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 yeah when was your first show two years ago almost three jesus christ yeah almost three years that was that's sh- okay all of your shows are special, I'm sure, but that was the most special, I think, because yeah. it was your second one of the day. Of but the I night. got, but I got to see it, and Mom was there, and like that show was like the energy was crazy. Yeah, because everyone was there to support you getting over the. And I remember how you felt when you were backstage and everything, and like you were you were focused, but you were a completely different person backstage. You were like fucking look like a fucking ghost just fucked you in your ass. Yeah, dude. And then you go up. And then you go up, and then it's just this completely, like, like born for this, yeah, fucking seamless. Like, there wasn't a part of it where I watched, because I was like, I wonder if he's going to do any, like, ums or anything like that. It's the whole way, like, you had everything planned, but also uh, vibed off the crowd, too, as well. Yeah. And still played, like, the guy, like, the funniest moment for me is when you told that guy that he looks like he does ayahuasca. Oh, yeah. And then he took off his shirt and shit and started yeah. getting like, and I was like this guy, yeah, this guy definitely does. Eye like like that was for a second show. That's an amazing, that's an amazing, like most comedians would die for that. Their fucking 20th show, their 30th, yeah. show, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Or probably most of them, if the crowd's that cool. So it was that for me. I mean, not to be, I'm going to be selfish here, but that was like, for me, it was probably like, I'll see more in the future. It's 10. It's like 10 times better now. Getting on stage was pretty cool because you went out of your way. You yeah. did go out of your way to like, you did go out of your way to like give me a moment and be like, all right, I want you to conquer this now too. So I, well, that was I, pretty cool. I look at it like this, bro. If I'm in the position that I'm in, you know what I mean? I'm not a top 10 comedian in the world. Probably not a yeah. top, top 100 comedian yeah. in the world. Just being based on being known and like ticket sales and shit, right? Yeah. But like... If I'm in an opportunity to make a cool memory with, like, somebody who's been, like, good to me my whole life, like, I'm going to do that. Right. You know? Because at the end of the day, things go away. But, you know, it should be like, yo, like, remember that time, like, we did that show together? And it was, it's an opportunity. And also in, like, comedy, it's, like, reps. It's it, A lot of it's just reps. It's reps. If I get back to the city early enough tonight, I'll probably find an open mic just to do, like, five minutes. Right. You know, so a lot of it's just, like, what reps can I get in? It's a lot of film. You're, like, a football player. You're just, like, constantly critiquing everything Yeah, you're you earning do. your stripes, too. Yeah. And, like, 
a lot of people, those are like the best compliments I can get is people that have seen me twice and have said, bro, it's so much better yeah. than you were like a year or two ago. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, that, that means the world to me because it means my work is paying off. Right. And it's more, I think yeah. it's more that you also have a more together set yeah. set now. So yeah. have you tried, have you tried the, uh, I texted you, but did you try the van joke yet? Or do you want to, or do you want to work out the kinks for it first? Yeah. I'm going to work out the kinks for it. I'm well, we shouldn't even talk about it. I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I'll do We don't it. have I'll to do talk. It. Yeah. yeah. When I do but that let joke, me know how, I'll, yeah. I'll let me know it how it goes. Yeah. Cause, cause, cause we've always watched comedians talk about this Yeah, and now one of us, and now you're doing it. You yes. know what I mean? So it's like, it's cool being like, oh, I can work on this. Like you said, you're getting your reps in. So you see if someone, if a crowd likes it, yeah. then you take it with you to a bigger show or whatever. For sure. I would imagine that's how, it sounds like that's what comedians do. Yeah, yeah. You try everything in smaller rooms before you bring them to big rooms. Right. So that's like, you know, that's that's the gym. That's, now, that's, that's the gym. And my last question, my second question, my last question was, how is, uh, how is being on stage, like, how do you think it's changed your, your life? Oh, so much. You know, it, it, the thing that changes it that changes so much is that when you when you do it full time, like as a living, like that's my profession. Yeah, like I don't have another job. Yeah, um, it lights a fire under you to stay motivated, and it's like, yeah, I could probably go get a job somewhere, like doing content or something, and like doing that. But it's like, I like doing my own thing. Like I like doing a podcast with my brother. You know, we're lucky enough to have ads on this show. And blessed enough to have ads on this show, and then I do my sh- I do my shit um, on the road. And you know, is it tough? It's tough. You know, I don't like being away from my wife and shit, and and being away from my dogs. And you know, eventually we're gonna want to have kids, so that's gonna be like a tough cross to yeah. bear. But like, I don't feel uncomfortable on stage at all. The only thing I feel comfortable. Anywhere is regular life. Yeah, I know. That's probably the case for a lot of regular performers. regular life is so uncomfortable for me. Yeah. Like because when I'm locked into a set, I'm just locked into certain jokes. Like yeah. that's the only thing that's going through my mind. Yeah. But when I'm off stage, like I'm thinking about shit. I'm thinking about like, you know, my health or like people who've passed away or financial stuff or yeah. what am I gonna eat for dinner and the dogs need to go out. You know, you stay this I had a great conversation with dad about, um, about dying, uh, two day, two or three days ago. Cause I told him, I said, listen, since, since I lost, since I lost such a close friend, I was like, yeah, like I'm so afraid to like die. Cause like, I, yeah. I just seen what it's done to everybody. Yeah. And like, um, so I asked dad, I was like, dad, when you like flatlined and almost died, I was like, are you afraid to die anymore? And he was like, nah. Yeah. He was like, I have no fear of dying at all whatsoever. Because yeah. he's just like, and then he ended it off. He was like, living is hard. Dying is the easiest part of life. Yeah, because it's just. It's, it's just going to happen. Yeah, it's just, I think we're just more scared. We don't know what is or what isn't. That's what that's it is. It. That's all it is. And he was just like, bro, like, I felt things when I was like dying. Yeah. That every drug imaginable, like, couldn't even replicate it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was like, when I came back, he was, he, dad was almost like, why'd you do that? Like, he was just like, I was like, he was just, his body was dying. Yeah. And he had a very good spiritual experience. Yeah. He didn't have the one where some people are like being like pulled into like a dark tunnel yeah, or some no. shit. But, but he did tell me like after that, he was like really depressed for a while. Yeah. Like coming back to life. Yeah. He's, no, he was yeah. like, he was like, I almost wish I'd stayed dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'd rather would have died. <laughs> Because like, I did like honestly, he's like coming back. It was just like, all right, like I'm going through this, like, and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have to like try and get back to work at some point. So he's like, you know, he's like, you get these little things, like how we are with our things. Like he had a real reason. He was like, yo, is my defibrillator gonna go off tonight when I go to sleep? Like he was yeah. afraid to go to sleep. Yeah, that was his thing. Yeah, because it was just like, because because it's like it, it was he was there and it was almost done and then it's like it's being alive and dealing with it in the moment that's annoying also it's just uncomfortable at first yeah and then once you're out I think that's where dad was like in in a peaceful place because like Jamie Foxx said that his sucked 
Oh, I never heard Jamie Foxx talk about it. I think he talked about he was, like, going towards a tunnel, and the light was, like, taken forever, and he was being, like, pulled back or some shit, I think. Damn, dude. I don't know. He just said it was long. He said something like that, and he just said it was... I don't know. He said it. He didn't say like it was a terrifying thing, but he seemed like he wasn't. He didn't really enjoy it. I, now, here's the thing. I don't know, though, because I've heard some stuff from other people, too. And I've heard I saw this and it was beautiful and peaceful, too. I think it's got to be wherever. I don't know. I really don't know. Because dad, I think at that point, too, I don't think life was great for dad. Yeah. I, I at that point, he was, he was like, yeah, if it happens, it's, it, whatever. Yeah, he was yeah, very. I mean, he had a heart attack. Yeah, he was just very stressed out, stressed out. He wasn't doing therapy or anything like that at the time either. Like he was just working, trying to make his own money. We were all in. I was in college. You were still in high school, I think, or maybe no. I think you were in college too at the time. No, I was a senior in high school. I was on the baseball team. I remember because I left practice. Daniel drove me to the hospital. Yeah, that shit was. Yeah, it was a weird day, yeah. but. But but it's cool that you had that conversation with him because mm-hmm. cause it makes us feel better, I think, whenever we hear him. Well, I think it's well. it's somebody that's obviously closer to death. Yeah. But just by age. Yeah, just yeah. You know, say that he's not afraid of it makes me less afraid of it. Because I, I am afraid of it. You want if I didn't have a wife and like had any success in life because you're enjoying it yeah because i'm enjoying life so much right and going to like love my life and going to nothing is weird but if you can't feel or there is nothing there you're not going to know that you'll be dead well i'll be lying to say that sometimes i'm jealous of dead people yeah because they're there already yeah and i'm like damn dude like you already did that and it's like you never have to worry about anything ever ever again yeah this fucking motherfuckers just be dead just dead you know, so I'm I'm thinking about it like sucks. I'm thinking about it like it sucks for us. Yeah, I think it's because we're young. I want to get to the point where I get old and I'm like, yo, this sucks, bro. I'm ready to just peace out, dude. I cannot wait to get there. That's <laughs> that's where, that's where I want to be because right now I am enjoying life. You so know what I mean? bad. I wish. I wish. Oh, oh shit. I wish I didn't wish enjoy you were life as long as you were. Yeah, I wish I wasn't fucking the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> that's insane. How the fuck did that come out? I have no idea. All right, here we go. Um. Oh, it wasn't Titan. That's why. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah, bro. But I'm I'm being serious. Like what you just said, just hit the nail on the head. Of like, I want to make it to be so old that I'm just like, just fucking die already. Yeah, that's I, gonna that's, be such a blessing. To that's feel that. that's that's why I say that because getting old sucks. Yeah, and dude. it's painful, and everyone's dead already that you know, or or almost there, or you've already been in so much pain. You're just like. Yeah, fuck this. I'm out. Yeah. Right now, I'm like, I want to, it's because we're young and we're enjoying life. Yeah. Being young and enjoying life is a fucking awesome gift to have because this world fucking sucks. I mean, it does. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, no, it's great. Not just for bald people, too. Yeah, not just for bald people. Yeah. But it's great because I'm bald and loving life. Yeah, man. I just, I like, I always said, like, yo, if I ever get like dementia or something, like, yo, just leave me in the woods. Dude, getting dementia. Oh, you just. (laughs) You just yeah, want to like be like because it's gonna be so because I just know the things that are gonna come out of my mouth are gonna be fucking nuts. Wait, so you would rather just die like in the woods? Yeah, because I just know I'm gonna if I stay any longer, I'm just gonna offend my family. I'm just thinking about I'm just gonna you. say like I don't want my family to like the last thing like I ever say to them and it was like I always knew you were a little queer, like you know what I mean, like yeah. and just like die and yeah. be like that's the last thing my grandpa said to me. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like I don't want to do that to like kids. It's just I'm just thinking about you like lost in the woods, like <laughs> tripping balls off of your own like uh, mental disorder. Yeah, yeah, just off my own just fucking like disease. Fucking, just like a fucking thick, scared, lost like Puerto Rican Italian, like Alice in Wonderland. Just like walking around, like making friends with animals. Yeah, just like freaking. Yeah, like talking to trees with holes in them. Yeah, do you yeah. think it's their mouth? Because like when you see people, you just wake up scared all the time when you have that shit. Yeah, that one's weird. Cause I think about the Wendy Williams shit and I'm just going to be honest. I I don't, I know she fucking sucks, but like, I don't think anyone deserves that shit, but like, yeah, watching that shit. I just feel, I feel like, I know people are like, who cares? Like she sucks, but I just, I do feel bad for her though. Yeah, bro. Cause 'cause she looks fucking nuts. Yeah. When everybody, anyone like loses their noodle like that, it's scary to like, just watch. Yeah. They're not, they're like an empty, they're like a robot trying to figure out who they are or something. It's like they were just made out of a factory and they don't know what's going on. Dude, I saw like the saddest fucking video. It's a factory reset. Yeah, dude. I saw the saddest video. It was like this guy walks into like his son's room and he's like, where's mom? And he was like, mom's been dead for like 15 years, dad. Yeah, that's so fucked. That, those are fucked. And he was like, what? And I was just like, damn, dude. This dude was just like looking for the love of his life, like walking around his house. That's so fucked. Like fucking leave me in the woods, dude. 
Like, I'm telling you. Yeah. And then just come back, like, after a couple of days, because you know I starved to death, and just, like, pick me up, and then, like, yeah, cre- just, cremate just, me and turn me into, like, diamonds. Yeah, you're just dead and naked wearing, like, a fucking moss crown. Yeah, moss crown. <laughs> I, look, I look like I went to, like, midsummer. Yeah. Your like, dick is out. Yeah, just bro, fucking just fucking <laughs> dicks out, like something's eating it. You know, and you just find me, like, oh, there he is, I got him. You think they'll ever make something for dementia where it, like, like a machine that, like, like, almost like, you know that thing we used to have back in the day? You go, like, this on the side, and it gives, like, different pictures. Yeah. I forgot what that thing's called. A camera? Something like that. To <laughs> no, not a camera. It's that thing on the side. It's that fucking toy. It's that toy that had, like, elephants would pop up. You go, oh, my God, I'm in Africa. Oh, oh, oh. It was just, like, a negative ca- slideshow camera. Yeah, whatever that thing oh, was. Yeah. Not a kaleidoscope, but, like, along the lines, you just flick it. Yeah, and then, like, a new thing would come up. It'd be, like, fucking butterflies. It'd just be like, oh, I'm in India now. Yeah, you would literally, yeah. like, I feel like it was, like, National Geographic probably had, like, a partnership with them, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Do you about. have dementia? Please and say it just in the comments. something that just, like, fucking shows up all the time, and it's just certain memories or some machine that's, like, impl- like, there's got to be implants in the future. That, like, my one thing is thinking about implants in the future are going to get so crazy. They're already weird. Yeah, they're but weird But they're now. eventually, someone's going to invent some Someone's gonna be like the Steve Jobs of like. Of course, yeah, no, for sure. Like, and the thing that's scary, like, like I feel when you start to like get dementia and shit, that's like the closest you get to being like, like a fucking orangutan in the zoo. Yeah, it's it's like you, people are just like watching you all day, and you're just like fiddling with shit. It's almost, it's worse. At least orangutan like knows its duties and shit throughout the day. Yeah, dementia people just like get up and shit themselves and don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's so fucking scary. Like dude. that's just it's a it's like a blank. It's that factory. Obviously, it, it's different. Everyone has a different case. Some people remember their kids. Some people don't. Some whatever. Right. But the one that's full fledged, like I don't know where I am, and call, talking to your son like they're a complete stranger, like that shit is so. Like, and I'm just thinking, what could you do? Like, like when Uncle Junior shoots Tony? Yeah. Sada Malanga. Yeah, he like, doesn't know what's ah. going on. It's just like, what do you do? Is there, like, what's happening? Is is there a part of the brain that's being snit? Like, it, does it just go dead? Like, I don't know the actual f- science of it. So it's like, is there something that can connect a bridge or something where people don't ever have to deal with that again? Because there's a lot of shit like that's been cranial. around for mad long that we still have not figured out. Yeah, like a, like a cranial implant or something that, like... Make sure that, like, whatever electrodes need to be, like, fired off on or something, like, does it. Do you think you would ever be pushed to a place where you where you have loss in your life, which you've experienced, obviously, where you would selfishly get, like, an AI-generated version of someone, but it's completely them? It's just not them, but it's their, it's their, it's their conscious and everything like that? Do you think you could ever be pushed to that level? Have yeah. you ever loved yeah. somebody so bad? You think that you could be like, yeah, just I just lost one, right? I, uh, you know, like I, I I wish like if that was a possibility, I'd walk around with like a little fucking Bobby three thousand. No, but you know what I mean, but, just like walk but, around with them. Now this is the thing. This is yeah. I know a lot of people now think that's a weird question, but we're things like that are already being that's a it's already a thing. Yeah, dude. So did a hologram of Tupac look just like him and you like performed. So that's my question is like if you had a moment where you selfishly cuz we're alive, right? Yeah. It's it's a very selfish thing to want like so even though it's not really them them, but if you could have someone answer you and just have them respond to you, let's say if it was it, it like let's call it dead person in a pocket. Right, like, oh, but but are they like, are they? It's a machine. Is it like a HAL three thousand from like a space odyssey? Basically, it's, let's let's say it, let's say it's me and you take me out. And you go, yo, I just really miss you, bro. And I'm like, I miss you too, man. How how Celine and everything. Like, I talk to you. I would do it. You think you would do it? Yeah, dude. Why not? Like, if there's gonna be like, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be like a quest seven, and it's gonna be like, hey, like, set up your own heaven garden dude i where think you just go to heaven and just see all your dead family members i think augmented reality and all that stuff is going to go to that place yeah. i think eventually you're going to be in your room and you're going to want to visit from someone and if but it's going to have to be obviously like how does how does it get that knowledge that data bro, someone's going to have to I go saw, in and be recorded every day or something bro i saw a video they do this already yeah where a chinese mom yeah got these people set up they had a child who died who was like four or five years old and they had a headset and their daughter walks up to them and is like 
mommy, like it's okay. Like, uh, and the woman is hysterical. Yeah, because and, the- and she keeps saying like, I will be with you soon. Uh, she's like, I will be with you one day. I can't be with you right now, but one day I will be with you. And she's hysterically crying, dude. Right. And I was hysterically crying. As right? Well. No, there's plenty of videos like that. I'm and like, I was oh, like, fuck, yo, man. dude. I was like, this person's the only thing she loved more in that life was nothing. Yeah. It was that kid. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like. But it's the closest. I mean, Kanye did that thing for fucking. He did. He did that thing for Kim when they were together. The dad thing. Yeah. Which a lot of people were like, "This is so fucking weird," and it is. But I don't know. I would imagine there are people out there who've lost people who go, "I still wouldn't do it." It's just not them, and it's weird. But there's a lot of people out there when you experience that loss, and it's so hard. Some people make it up in their own fucking minds. They'll go to that level. You know what I mean? That's how traumatizing it is. Yeah. Now, bro, if you can have a fucking machine that can keep you sane. Bro, who wouldn't want to say hi to their dead mom? And if it's a completely down to the T, how mom would answer you? Yeah. Like, I'm doing great. Can you go walk the fucking dog? Yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, it's, oh my God. It's so terrible. She's just like, Harry, hey, everything's good? Yeah. Can you take the car? Yeah. Can we, <laughs> can we deprogram her? Just like not say sad stuff. <laughs> Just be like, uh, enable sadness. And just be like, but, enabling sadness. <laughs> <laughs> then that would be perfect. And that's the beauty of it, though, right? When you have an AI-generated person and it's down to them, though, you're like, if you had anything else, you go, she wouldn't do that. This is weird. That's yes. where it gets weird. Because it's almost like tricking your brain. But is that trick a healthy trick? Yeah, why not? I think it is because, because it's, it's not people, you doing it to yourself. Like you're not in. I'm not. In, I'm not like in the corner. Like I miss you so much, Danny. Yeah, like, yeah, you know but, what I mean? yeah. Like, but is it like is it so weird that like I'll I I'll talk to Bobby sometimes throughout the day? Yeah, that's true. You can do that. You can do that. Yeah, that's, that's you know true. what I mean. Like, you can do that also with your own thing. You don't have to like go like to that like yesterday. Yes, yesterday was Easter. Like I remember, I prayed for like an hour, and I think I talked to him for like ten minutes. Yeah, like you know, to to some people that like. Might make it look like you're nuts, but in that in that moment, it comforts the shit out. Of well, me. that goes to: Do you need anything to be there to be it? Because you're still doing the same thing; you just have an image. Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Or, or an image that is responding to you, but it's not. I don't know. That's why. That's why. I saw something. I see the weirdness of it, and I see the very non weirdness of it. Yeah, I was like, wa- I get it. I was watching the uh, Will Sasso. Shout out to Will Sasso. Come on the show, Will who's Sasso. The homie, who's the homie? Come on, the show. he would too. Yeah. Um, he could be, he could do his Hogan and and Jesse Bobby. Oh yeah he, yeah, he crushes it. Yeah, he's on a he has Dudesy podcast with a, uh, with his buddy. Check it out. And um, they had a thing come up where someone uh, their they have their shows based off of like they had they talked an AI is the show's built around AI stuff, but they have their own conversations. Right. And the AI will talk and do its thing once in a while, but it, it's it's absorbing everything, and then it absorbed about George a uh, George Carlin AI. And the Carlin AI is the, like almost down to the T, and it's making jokes, and it says, and it says in the joke like, "Get used to celebrities coming back. Like we're going to be coming back, but we're going to be AI. Yeah, and it's going to be new material. And yeah, you're going to have to deal with it in the future. And it was the creepiest that hearing him say it, the a, hearing the AI say that yeah, it's going to be new material. And the jokes were good. At the end, it goes, "I'll tell you one celebrity though that we could all not. I'll, I'll tell you one celebrity though that we could all not deal with coming back. Bill Cosby." And then it like it was it was a good joke. Yeah, I was like, holy shit, that's scary, dude. So that's the part where I'm like, oh my god, good AI is to me the most fascinating and scariest AI. Yeah, as long as just don't put it in robots, like that yeah, things the, that could wa- be erect and walk. You know what I mean by erect? I, yeah, I homo I homo erectus. Yeah, that's even gayer. Sorry, but yeah. you know what I mean. Whatever, gay's fine. Yeah, gay's the best. But you know, it's just one of those things, you know. It's, 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 it's just, I would have, I would have so many like robot friends. Imagine though, like, have you ever seen her? Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. I didn't finish the movie. That's, I that's, seen a little bit. I, that's, I got that's like halfway. Ha- I that's going to happen way more. That's what I mean. Like that personality in a pocket. I mean, we have it in a lot of ways already, but I'm wondering where other people's brains were, will go. Like if they have to physically touch something, if they have to see somebody in the room oh yeah my thing is is like like people that miss weddings yeah you know what i mean like yeah. you could send like your own like hologram so like right. you can be at the wedding right 
but it's just like a digital image of you. Like you're at home kind of at the wedding. Yeah. I'm just, I'm going so, that's so true. You know, it's just like, hey, I can't make the wedding, but I'm going to send my fucking AI proxy. I'm and thinking, like, I'm here dressed like for the wedding. You could like be there. I'm just you, thinking. You can imagine you gave like a speech, like as a hologram at my wedding. I just feel like it's so, that would, yeah, that'd be crazy. I'm trying to think like if, because there's going to be those moments where someone's like talking to the AI and they're like, they're like, uh, can you go get me snacks? If it's a physical robot, the robot goes out and gets it and comes back and like, I know you love Cheetos. And you just go, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and Who it's like, to? and it's like your ex-wife AI, but like they fucked up because uh, they didn't know yeah. a specific thing. And you're like, she wouldn't have got me those. And she wouldn't certainly wouldn't have said this. And you just fucking beat the thing. Yeah. Right. And kill it. I'm, I'm going so like deep into it. But like, that's someone like robs your it, AI, like it, walking home from the store. For me, it would, <laughs> exactly. I would suck dick. Yeah, you lose it twice. I guarantee you, yo, Uber Eats drivers are going to be robots. I mean, the, the cars are already driving themselves. You know what I mean? But, but you mean like... like dude, it's yeah. going to be like Ishmael. I'm like, this guy's name's not Ishmael. He's a robot. That's weird, too. I know. Because you're going like, to have, have racist you go, guys picking personalities. That's what I'm saying. That's weird. Yeah. It's going to be a strange life, dude. I'm thinking about like... Thir- it's going to be a very odd future. It's gonna be fucked, but yeah. I'm, but I can't, but I want to be there for it. Oh yeah, our future's a group. It's I like, want to be. It came out of my mouth. I was like, who is that? That's why I'm like everyone's because someone was talking about it. Also, like you know, parents or uncles and grandparents like losing family members. But you're thinking about the people like if you have siblings and people that stay with you. Yeah, it is gonna be like think about us like forty years from now and dealing with that world. I mean, oh, it's gonna gosh. happen. Bro. I hope I'm alive. I hope I, I'm we, alive. We will. Be. We will be. You got to start with we will be. Yeah. If you, ju- if you judge it, I feel like you're closer to death when you judge whether or not. That's yeah, my personal take. I think you, yeah, I mean, I, I think there's scientific, l- like, linkage to, like, if you think about death a lot, it, like, actually happens. I, th- I, I think there is. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind about joking. No. Because there are people who are like, don't joke like that, man. No. But, like, I like, I, I don't give, it's a part of life. That's funny to me. But jo- if every I, day you're like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, which where I was, I joke where about you di- were. I, j- I joke about dying every day, I think. Yeah. Cause it's a yeah, it's a big part of our f- our yeah, fuck just, our a, just a very not a dark person, but like I just have a very dark sense of humor. Yeah, just what makes oh my god. Speaking of dark sense of humor, listen to what I fucking did the other day. Yeah, okay. So, Selena and I on Easter, we're like, oh, we ate like kind of a big breakfast. Yo, my wife is so good at fucking cooking; it's outrageous. <laughs> it's unreal. Like I tell her all the time, fucking plus. Like I'm telling you, like I was like, yo. Post some of this like on TikTok and shit. Like, let's get some money out this bitch. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. she can cook her That's the world ass. we live in now. She can cook her ass off, dude. She made like fucking eggs Florentine that were like, if you would have told me, like, oh, this was from like the best brunch place in New York City, I would have believed it. It was yeah. that fucking good. Yeah. So, anyway, so we do that and we're, we're still feeling a little full and we still have to eat Easter dinner. So, we're like, let's go for a walk. Let's walk the dogs for a while. So we go for a walk, and we're walking by our, our apartment. There's, like, this little field, but it's not for dogs. It's for humans to walk. And there's this one guy is there, and his dog's not on a leash, right? So immediately in my mind, I go, I really hope that dog runs up to our dogs. Yes. Because I had this plan come to me so quick. Yeah. So his dog... Starts making a beeline for our dogs. So I grab both of our dogs and go, not friendly, not friendly, not friendly. They're not friendly. And as he's doing it, like I could see like the owner being like, like calling like, oh, like Spartacus, come back. Spartacus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, no, nah, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, you were fucking playing around yeah. with that. Yeah, oh, I was shit. like, no, nah. I was like, my dogs are friendly as fuck. But you did that annoying thing that some people do yes. when they are walking dogs. So this is what happened though. Because their voices are. So instead of the guy being like, ha, 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 sorry. Yeah. He goes, that's not funny. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. So I look him in the face. I go, you know what's not funny? Your dog not being on a fucking leash. Oh, yeah. So you got him with the, yeah. Okay. So I was just like, yeah, that's not funny. You know what's not funny? Your dog not being on a leash. I wish that my dogs could be off the leash, but guess what? I follow the rules. Yeah. There's a big sign that says, yeah. keep your dog on a leash. Yeah. And the only reason I'm like that is because some other fucking dumb cunt, okay, had her dog off a leash and it attacked Tony. Yeah. So it's to the like, point where yeah. I kicked the dog in the face. Yeah. You had to get it fucking out of there. Yeah. 
attack Tony. I'm lifting Tony up above my head by his harness. He's <laughs> a 70-pound dog, dude. I'm doing fucking lateral raises with a 70-pound animal. Yeah. Okay? When I go to the gym, I do 25 pounds. I can show you how strong you are when you're afraid. Right. Tony's here. Whoop. Just adrenaline lift. Just adrenaline lifted him over my head like fucking Simba. Over my head with one hand. Yeah. And I took my foot and kicked this dog right under its fucking jaw. Just yeah. went, yeah. like, And I could feel it in the little space of the jaw. Like right here, I felt that my fucking toe landed right underneath it. Yep. And if it's a dog, that's, a dog that's coming at you that sounds like it's going to fuck your dog up. It bit Tony. Fuck it, yeah. Fuck it bit it. Tony. It broke Tony's skin. The dog. Yeah, I'm no, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm beating the shit out of your dog. If your dog is is off a leash and it bites my dog, bro. Especially even if it's even if it's coming at my dog and and looking mad, ready to go down. I'm gonna be like, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to yeah. fuck you up. I was like, yeah. Also, fuck your dog. Also, it's not like if the dog was like a fucking Shih Tzu, I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, this dog was like 110 pounds. Yeah, it's bigger. Big motherfucker, bro. Huge, yeah. And when he said to me, "That's not funny," yeah, dude, he was like, "Sweet, sweet, yeah, sweet, sweet." Yeah, me myself Skid and I it, rained. Did it. It was really, and I was like, you know, it's not funny, not having your dog on the fucking leash. Yeah, put your goddamn dog on a fucking. And leash. I looked at him and just walked away. And Selena was with me, and she was so fucking like confused. Yeah. She was just like, oh, she was like, I get why you did it, but it was weird how you did it. Yeah, I was like, but yeah, it was but your humor. Though. It was my humor. That's what I told her. I said, this was my, I would have my under humor. I would have understood it after, because it played out well for you. Yeah, but if you just did that and they didn't say anything and it didn't turn into him being a weirdo and being like not funny, it like it played out well for your humor too because it's like, oh, I know what Danny was really doing. Yeah. Danny was being... Passive aggressive. Yeah. hundred percent. And but, like but being in a way where I'm going to get a laugh out of you breaking the rules and some fucking owners, you deserve that passive aggressiveness towards you're a fucking, you're a fucking, you're a reckless fucking idiot. And yeah. people get dogs and let them do whatever the fuck they want to do as yeah. well. Though sometimes. I don't care how knowing fucking, that their dog sucks. I don't care how cool or nice your dog is. Yeah. There's rules. Yeah. Put your dog on a fucking leash. How do you not know that your dog's a piece of shit like that, though? I'm they have saying, to know. And the dog couldn't have been trained that well because it ran right over to my dogs. Yeah, like yeah, and me, and the first thing to do was to bite. And your dogs are friendly as fuck with other dogs. They're mad friendly. Yeah, they're amazing. That would piss me off even more too. Oh, knowing they were knowing that they're they're friendly. Oh yeah, that's they're like, and then there's this mean piece of shit dog coming up to bite them. No, I would have lost my fucking mind my, for, for the other yeah, for the other story. Yeah, yeah, but my thing is this: is like I don't care if your dog's friendly or not. It takes one second for dogs to. Yeah, pop put off. that four legged idiot on a leash. Put him on a fucking leash, dude. You don't think that I want to go outside and not get fucking bothered by having to pull my dog? How and far shit? from the person also was this? Like seven feet. They were mad close, yeah, and that's then the too dude far. ran up to me and goes, "That's not funny." As soon as you said that, I was like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, you know what funny? else is not funny? If I yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> if I, yeah. I was like, you want to know what's not going to be funny is when in front of your dog, I, I fucking yeah, if I kill it. smash every fucking bone in your skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, because I'm, I'm, I'm fucking unhinged. Yeah. You know, I'm not a tough person, but I'm, uh, but I'm, but, I'm not but, crazy, but, my, but my, I hate shit. My thing so is, much my thing that is, it gets me to a level of where I want to fucking inflict violence on a person who just yeah. can't follow the fucking rules. Yeah, yeah. Follow the rules. Yeah. But also, you know, make sure you get better help as well. Yeah, better help. Better help. I'm, better help. I'm, also, I'm also worried about you. <laughs> now I'm now I'm now I know why Selena was worried. No, but my thing is is No, but as my as thing it went is on, though, I got Selena the, was more chill I, about. I it. got well, as soon as you as soon as it happened that way, I'm like, "Oh, well this played out well for you." Because even when you did the not friendly, not friendly, I was like, wait, who's, I don't, I don't get it. My dogs. And I was then, saying my dogs were not friendly. But it played out, no, I know, but it played out beautifully because he goes, that's not funny. Yeah. And then I immediately, before he even said, I go, yeah, but it also wouldn't be funny if your, if your dog did what another dog just did to my dogs the other yeah. day. And this is why you should have your dog on a leash. Because it's a fucking dog. It's stupid. Yeah. It's, it's not smart a dog. and it's in, in dog ways, but it's, it's a fucking idiot and it's not trained. Why do you... Think that the rules don't apply to you. you. That's the thing that bothers me about fucking people. Also, your dog is a murderer off a leash. Yeah, dude. Put that murdering piece of shit on a leash. And I was like, yo, like, 
I don't care how friendly you think your dog is. It takes one seconds for dogs to pop off. Yeah, to flip out. Okay? And then it, I'm not saying that he kills my dog, but if he bites my dog, and then I got to take him to the vet, that's going to cost me 900 bucks. Yeah, and then I got to beat the shit out of you and your dog. Yeah, and then I'm going to come and kill both of you. <laughs> You know, in my mind, I'm like, yo, I taught this guy a lesson in the best way possible. Started it as a joke. He was a fucking cock. So I was a fucking cock. Yeah. The, and you want to know what he did? Weird. I, in my, you in know what he did? I would have been like, sorry. You want to know what he did? One minute after? Apologize. 10 seconds after. Put his fucking leash on his dog. Oh, he put it on. Uh, yeah, okay, dude. Yeah. If your dog is running up to other dogs, your dog's not trained enough. Yeah. To be off the leash. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. And guess what? You're lucky that my dogs were friendly because what if they weren't? Yep. And, you're and negligent. You you are negligent pet owner. I also never want to be the guy who's responsible for another person's dog getting bit by my dog. Yeah, so dude. It's kind of, it's embarrassing. Yeah. I just don't understand why people think if you want to do that, go move to fucking Texas somewhere, yeah. buy a ranch, uh, and let your dogs run around while you ride like Kawasaki's, like fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin. My favorite... <laughs> So you stop fucking doing that, the dude. Worst you people, live in an urban environment. The worst, Keep your dog on a fucking leash. The worst people are like the people whose dog attacks, and they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Yeah. Because it's happening, and they, they're they not strong enough to handle the dog, and they have this huge fucking dog that they that they know is an asshole. I'm like, Buster, stop. Just, oh, my God, please. And he's like, Buster. Why, are you, why do you have that big-ass dog? Yeah, in? get rid of it. This is where people or if you have can't understand. Hand, if your dog's handling you instead, you're a fucking idiot. Get yes. rid of that dog. Yeah, or give it to someone who can give it to someone who can handle. I've dog. almost given Tony away twice because I was like, I don't know if I can handle a dog. Yeah, he's gotten better, so yeah. I'm like, okay, like even I'm not, I'm not blind. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm not liquid, John. I'm, I'm not, not liquid. liquid. You know, in my mind, I was just like, yo, this person needs to be taught a lesson. Yeah, because it's not. Allowed. There's, a, there's children here. It's a public fucking That's place. That's another thing, too. Not even just dogs. It might attack a fucking kid, Hello? dude. Hello? I got attacked by our own dog. I've been attacked by multiple dogs. By our own dog. Multiple times. I still love dogs, but... I love dogs, but guess what? They're subservient yeah, they're species. Idiot. Yeah, they're idiots. Put it on a fucking leash. They're your dog's idiot. not your cousin or your brother or your yeah. kid. Yeah, your dog right? eats its own shit. Yeah, okay. And if you died, guess what? Your dog would eat your corpse. Yeah, it would. All right, which is kind of poetic in a way because he doesn't want you to go to waste, but the, you know what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Okay? There's a reason why human beings do this to ourselves because we're so fucking fucked up in the head. We want to get an animal that's going to die 30 years before we do. Yeah. So we could have fucking no thousands better. of dollars spent on trying to keep some dog alive that if it was anywhere else, they would take it outside and put it to sleep. Right? But no, we're like, oh, no. We have to take care of these animals. We have to do this. We have to do this. Yeah, keep going. You know? Keep going. It's like, we have to take care of these dogs. It bothers me. It pisses me off. It bothers me, too. People have to understand that every once in a while, if you are going to be a person that takes care of a dog and owns a dog, right? Put them on a fucking leash. Stop fucking ruining everything for everybody else. Yeah. All right? So yes. now I have to worry about my dog because my dog's a little weird. And your dog's a little weird. They should both be on leashes. I don't care. Keep going. Tell them. There's a lot of things that piss me off about this country, too. There's Tell a lot em. of things, all right? Do you remember back in the days, in like the 90s, where like you didn't ask people like who you voted for and stuff? Yes. You should go back to that. Yes. Everybody mind their own business. Yeah. I hear everything about fucking social media. You got Trump on there every two minutes asking me for one dollar. Yeah, and then he left Twitter and came back. And then he, yeah, and then, then he came back and now he wants a dollar. Dumb bitch. And like I don't know if he like if he's in court. Joe Biden's asleep literally right now. Yeah. Dying. Okay? Dying every day. All right. RFK is like, I don't know. The only thing I know, theorist. Yeah, the only thing I know about him is he bangs the chick from Curb Your Enthusiasm. There's so many things in my life that just bother me, dude. Why do humans have to make life so difficult for Amen, everybody else? Amen, brother. Around? Just fucking Put your dog on a fucking, fucking leash, leash and walk your dog like a normal human being. Fuck I yes. don't understand. This isn't the middle of the fucking wastelands Fuck yeah. where it's the road or like Jack, some Jack Kerouac book. Okay? Fuck yeah, dude. This is, this is something. This is a real. This is You're co-inhabiting the world. Fuck yeah. Okay? So if I have a dog on a leash, two of them, and your dog's not on a leash, 
Put the fucking <laughs> dog, dog on a leash. leash. I don't understand. More, Get him. I think more humans need to be put on leashes in this country. <laughs> I think if you have a kid who's fucking annoying as shit and hits other people in class, when he goes to school, yes. he should be in a fucking cage. Yes. Because you want to know why? Why? He hits other kids. He's a and shit. And until he stops hitting other kids, we're not going to let him around other Fuck kids. Fuck that kid. And guess what? When we go on field trips, he's got to stay with that one fat lady that was always an aide in a class to make sure that he gets from point A to point B. Because she'll beat his ass. Because she's fucking so God given to the earth to take care of this piece of shit kid Amen. that you're sending for eight hours a day so you can go to work. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay. And I want everybody else to know out there, if you're going to be one of those types of people, don't procreate. Because guess what? Your kids are going to be just like you. Little leashless fucks <laughs> running around, doing whatever the fuck, fuck they, they want, want, doing the rules Amen. the way they want to do them. Amen. And it pisses me off. Very nicely done, Danny. Yeah. That was amazing. Put your dog on a leash. And on that note, <laughs> we're going to head out of we're here. We're going to head out of here. I'm sweating now, and now I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like to end episodes angry, but it just makes me angry. Anyway, um, yeah, you guys can find tickets to all of my shows. Uh, DannyLopriori.sucks. And uh, click on the See Me tab, and that's me. Uh, everywhere I'm going to be. We got merch coming this week. Dot sucks. We got Lopriori Podcast merch coming. Keep an eye out for it. I'll post it when it's ready. That's all I'm saying. It's not putting it in a day. But it's, when it comes out, you'll see it. I'll post it on my story. Mike, where can they find the internet, buddy? Michael underscore Low Priori on Instagram, Twitch, and Low Priori Mike on Twitter. Baby. Danny Low Priori on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everywhere else. We will see you guys next week with another amazing episode of Low Priori Podcast. We love you. Good day. Good day.